What's up guys, Franchise here. What I'm gonna be doing right now for you guys is I am going to, first I have a couple orders to pull. Um, I'll show you how quick I can kind of pull these orders now that I'm using my box system over here. You can barely see it in the video, but they're there, they're all listed. And then Beth and I went out of our game plan today we didn't hit up the Goodwill bins, and what we hit up were our regular Goodwills, three, very close in our area. Um, and it's nice to see some better stuff there. Uh, prices are higher, but we believe that we got some pretty good deals. First thing I'm going to pull is, there's only five, we sold five today. Well, I sold five. Beth, Beth has her own account, so I think she sold a few also. Uh, she's going to come down later on and grab hers. Uh, the first one is in A2. That's a Naraco Ladybug Salon kit. So A2, A2. The only bad thing is my boxes are not in alphabetical order. So there we go. A2. So we got to these are the things that I got at Goodwill over here today. She is all the way on the bottom. All right. So this is the Naraco Salon. This got we found this at the bins, so that's pretty good. Um, the Naraco. I showed you guys in my last thing, last video shouldn't say thing but like still has the bubble wrap and everything in there all right this sold for 20 bucks i think i had it actually listed for like 40 to start with and then um now that we're getting more stuff um, i kind of lowered the prices pretty quickly i threw out an offer today i think of 25 and the person came back at 20 and i took it Next thing I have to grab is a vintage brass grasshopper cricket paperweight. It's like this big. C2. 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 Of course, these boxes are going to be the ones that are on the bottom, right? So I got to drop. All right. Cricket should be around here. She should be around here somewhere. Oh, actually, I'll have to move this camera over. Let's see. There we go. So this is C two box. Tough to see this thing. Let's take it back up here. All right, and this is the cricket that we sold for. How much we sell that for? Ten twenty-five. The legs move on it. Pretty cool. Next item. Next item is a. Oh, where do you see this thing? I put this on a bid. Um, it started at $4.99 and it sold for $4.99. All right, but this is a vintage 70s watch and it's titled, I titled it Naughty Mickey and Minnie. And that is in D2. D2 is right here. These are my recent boxes. I just got this watch seven days ago. It was a good end of today. I got it when I got the Huggies. There she is. I don't think I showed you the watch in the video when I bought it. All right, but this is the watch band. Uh, I'll give you a quick close up. That's not appropriate for YouTube. Kids, don't look at it. $4.99. All right, a couple more. 2008 Magi. Quest 
Great Wolf Lodge uh, wand. So I guess when you go to Great Wolf Lodge, there's interactive things that kids can do. And I got this wand and listed it today. And, and it's sold. And it is in E2. E2 is right here. $17 this wand sold for. I got it yesterday at the bins. I didn't, I got a list. There's not even, any, I started a new box for my bins yesterday. Um, here she is. Cool. This is what the wand looks like. I stated that it doesn't come with batteries. Well, oh, that's a pretty cool watch. Oh, uh, cool watch. Cool wand. And one more item is a Baby Doolittle VHS tape. And it says it's an E2, and I'm praying that it's an E2. Because... This one has been listed for a little bit, for a little while. One thing, if you're just starting, I have to stack them, so I need these lids, but these lids are a pain in the butt. So if I was only going one row across, um, these shelves that I that I have, that's grandpa made these years ago. They can fit two boxes, so I gotta keep the tops on them. But they are not the easiest to deal with. E1. Baby Doolittle. Oh, there she is. Baby Doolittle World Animals VHS tape. Sold for $19 plus shipping. Be on the lookout for Baby Doolittle. All right. So there are my five that sold today. And it's nice when you're at Goodwill and you're, and you're sourcing and then you, you, you get this. The Ching sounds. We went to three different Goodwills today. Um, we haven't been to those Goodwill uh, those stores in a long time because we've just been hitting the bins. So the first one we went to is kind of our <clears throat> our furthest. Um, these three are well. There's another one that's kind of close, but it like these three are like bang, 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 and then there's another one that's. 10 minutes this way or 15 minutes that way from our house um so we went to the furthest just worked back and came home um <clears throat> but the first one we went to <clears throat> it was pretty cool because the guy kept bringing um like he, the guy that rolls the card out he, he asked me if i was a reseller and he said i said yeah he goes well, i got some cool stuff for you um so he brought me out box bags of matchbox cars um I'm not really into Hot Wheels. and that. They might have been Hot Oil, Hot Wheels. Um, that much. It was seven bucks for a bag. Probably like 15 or 20 in there. Um, I did see one red line, tires, whatever. Um, but I, it, wasn't, it wasn't worth picking up. And then he <clears throat> came back over. He goes, hey, I got this Dan Marino talking figure. Still in the box. It's a Dan Marino, the football player. Uh, I think he made it best. Uh, I think it was best. Not the store best, but sports cards. And it was still in the box. And it was uh, vintage. Uh, you hit it, and I guess Dan Marino talks. He had a price of 15 bucks, And I think the solds are like 25 on it, 20 25 So that's not enough for me. Uh, to risk buying that and spending 15 bucks. And then he brought out a Dan Marino football. Um, for 50, uh, 15 bucks as well. Um, and I didn't I didn't bite on them. Because that was that somebody had it listed for 50. Um, I didn't see any sold comps on it. But um, I passed on it. But I made sure to ask him. I'm like, listen, if I don't want these. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look them up and stuff. I said, if I don't want these, where do you want them? You know, do you want the football in the sporting goods section and, and the and the statue or figure in the toy section? He's like, no, take them up to the front case. So, all right. So what I'm going to show now is things that we picked up at the Goodwills today. Uh, we did spend a little bit of money. 
Um, I did want to show you this one thing. I did find this at the bins yesterday, and I thought it was pretty cool. It's like a military hat, and it's pretty clean. Um, so that's a cool bins find right there. Could probably list this for, I don't know, $25 maybe. All right. I think we found some pretty good stuff. Um, we did spend more money though. Like every time we go to Ben's, that's been like $8, $10. Uh, we probably spent about 50 today at the stores. So I'll fly through these real quick, go over what we found. And then at the end, I want to go over what we sold uh, this past week. All right. So Beth picked this one out. I can angle this so I'm not turning as much. See that's right there. We'll put Alf in the background. I gotta move this up a little bit. There we go. Perfect. All right. So Beth found this <clears throat> this horse, and this is I think American Girl. It's American Girl horse. Yep, American Girl horse, twenty sixteen. This cost four forty nine, and she looked at comps up. One sold for 89. Um, I want to say the saddle had a couple more things. So, I mean, that, that was a good comp to go off of to definitely buy it at 449. So we got that today. I will stick that horse right there. She's gonna list them. I found, this is a cool little, this is a piece of the Berlin wall. Packaging is horrible. All right, but if you look at it, all right, and she, that glare is terrible for y'all. But if you look at the piece, it is painted. So I'm assuming when they packaged this brick, they took a picture of where they got the brick from. As you can see, that wall is painted. I'll turn around, and it, it, I guess it came with a postcard. I don't know. This is sealed. But look at the price. $10.99, but that's history right there. I might even sell this. I might take open this up and put it in a better display than this paper. The only thing I'm worried about is the concrete being against the postcard. So behind that um, piece, little piece of concrete is getting scratched up pretty bad. I'm gonna put this on my shelf right there. There we go. Maybe I'll forget about it and I'll keep it. All right, I found this for four ninety nine. This, this stuff would be like nothing. This would be like a dollar at the bins. Um, but it's a track collar by Body Sport. Um, you put this around your neck, and it has two little inflators, and it kind of just like stretches your neck out a little bit. Comps are like thirty five to up to fifty on these things. So, I thought that was a solid buy. Uh, this is another thing I don't want to sell. All right, but this is a clock that tells you the tides. And it, it works because I, I just set it at low tide. Um, if you live near a river like, like I do or near the ocean, right, this is something that you, you really need. Because um, when I drive to work, um, the school I teach at is not very far. It takes me like eight minutes to get there. But there's one road that goes into the town and when the high tide comes in and a little bit of rain that road gets flooded and you can't get into town so then i gotta go all the way around it's a different way um so people that live along the coast or, or, or around water you know they they want to know what the tides are so i'll put that on the shelf and if i forget to sell it it's mine all right, this one here, I had to grab this. This, this costs 10 bucks. Oh, I got it, I got it well. This is a Disney um, train set. Now this says on the bottom, just each one. All right, so this says like $65 it costs new. Um, all the comps on this, I bought this for 10. There it is, 1049. Um, all the comps are like 90 and up. 
so it'll be a pain to probably ship this but um it'll be worth it pretty cool and then lastly i hit this bag of ornaments that i paid 4.49 for right. this ornament i didn't this was uh I think $3.99 for this one, but this is a Department 56. Um, it says Rise Up Women, Women to Vote. This, this I saw the comps were like 50 maybe and up, 50 to 60. So Department 56 ornaments are good. And this bag here are all vintage Hallmark ornaments. Probably shouldn't be in there like that. So. This one here. This ornament. 19 Christmas 1979. I keep squinting. I'm sorry. 1979. Uh, I comped this at $9. Uh, this was comped about probably $15. 1980. 1980. These ones are cool here. I can, uh, well, here, this and this go together. Well, I don't have to go together, but they're similar. These are like 10 bucks each. These are 1981 and 1982. 81 and 82. I actually think this one might be a little bit more than $10. All right, but then here comes the biggies. Oh, this one's cool. This is like, I think there's no date on it and it's like a pin, but it's a little mouse sleeping in a matchbox. Okay. This is about, I want to say, I want to say it was like 15 to 20 as well. Pretty cool. Oh, but it's like a pin. See how it's like, I don't know. You put on your shirt, walk around with a matchbox on your shirt. Uh, this was pretty solid. I don't recall, but I do think it was above 20 bucks. This is, uh, I think somebody had 19, uh, when I comped it, I think it came up like 1977. It's like a little cat. All right, and these ones are cool. So I don't know if these are set. People have them listed separately. I think this one's in the 70s, but these are Panorama. I got my ring light in the way. Panorama balls. I want to say this one of them was listed for a lot, like 80 bucks. I want to say it's this one. Okay. Um, and then I think these were kind of like 30 to $40 range. Right there. These actually have a date on them, I think. These are, I know they don't. Oh yeah, 1980. It says that right on the glass. 1980. And then I have this one here. This is a little horse, but I think this is 1981. And I don't know why, but this thing has sold for $97. I believe, or 79, 97, 100. So I don't know what it is about this one, but it's a rocking horse, 1981 rocking horse. All right. Uh, and then there's, uh, these are like, I wanna say these are like $11 each. These are all in the bag of what? What did I say the bag was? $4.49, $4.49. All right, this one is, what's this one, uh, 1984, dog and a frisbee. And this one, I don't see the date on it. But I think somebody had that. We need to comp it, obviously, other people list it and they have the dates. I don't know how they got them. Oh, it might, they actually might still have it in the box. But I want, dates can definitely sell for 10 bucks without the boxes. This one was cool, but this isn't wasn't worth that much. 1992. Pretty cool. Maybe four, five hours for that one. 
All right. Now, that's it. Now, I'm going to go over some things that have sold this past week. All right. Um, just bear with me because I, I love to share this part with the people that are just starting out so they know what to look for when they go out shopping. Um, it's how we learned. It's probably how everybody on eBay has learned. All right. So the first thing that sold for, not the first thing that sold, but one, one thing that sold is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Raphael figure. Um, this was a hard body with a soft plastic head. Uh, sold for eleven dollars. These are all bins. Make sure. Yes, all this stuff are bins. We just started today. I think Beth actually sold something that she got today already. She listed one earlier. A 1992 Beyond the Mind's Eye VHS tape sold for eleven dollars. A 2011. Freddie Freeman Rookie Threads card. This was not a bins buy. These are, I got, I bought about 10 cards at a yard sale for 100 bucks. This was one of them. Uh, this sold for $225. Next thing is a samples. Converse Gold and Black Chuck Taylor. So these shoes, when you, if you want to look at shoes and Chuck Taylors, um, if you just flip up the tongue real quick, it'll say sample on it, on the tongue, just like that. And um, they're the ones that, I, like, I'll buy them immediately, all right? Um, but the gold and black was cool, too, because the gold was actually, go like, shiny gold, not, like, yellow, right? It was, like, shiny gold, looked like gold on it. Um, $38 for them. These next shoes, Beth thought I would never sell. They are kind of funky looking. They are Nike Air Force One Rebel 20s. XX is 20. Um, and I sold them for $25. They just have, you can see the um, laces are in the back of them. And there's no laces in the front. Kind of goofy. Shalom Sesame Street. Welcome to Israel DVD. Now, I don't buy DVDs too often. I bought this because it was sealed, and I bought it because it was Sesame Street, and I bought it because of Israel. So that kind of like opens up the range of people that would be buying this. Um, that's all for five fifty, all right. But the person who bought the Converse, the Nike Air Force ones, and the DVD, the Shalom Welcome Sesame Street Shalom DVD. Bought all three things. Um, now, I learned how to combine ship. The Converse, I couldn't combine ship because they had to be authenticated for some reason. So when so shoes have to be authenticated, you get a free label, I think. It said free label because it was FedEx. But I couldn't take it to UPS, USPS, my post office. I had to find a... FedEx box to drop it in. But I was able to combine ship the Nike Air Force Ones and the DVD. And how I do it, and I don't know if it's right. I don't even know if that's the easiest way. Probably not. But I got the sneakers. I put them in a box. I put the DVD inside the sneakers. And then I weighed it. And then I changed the weight in dimension. Well, the dimensions of the box is the same, but I changed the weight of the sneakers with the DVD in it. I printed out the label for the sneakers. Then I went to the DVD sale and I hit mark the ship. And then I took the tracking label that I put on the bot on the sneaker box and I put that tracking number on the DVD. So you can do it that way. If you want to combine ship something, if you, if you can do it that way. All right. Next thing. Ugly. Sag Harbor Gold Blazer. Um, I bought this when Beth wasn't there. And she probably wouldn't have let me leave the store with it. But I come walking in the house with it. She said, why did you buy that ugly jacket? And I said, 
I just looked up comps and it was selling, you know. Um, I started at $25 and I ended up taking an offer for 15 of it for $15. Um, that was more of, um, I just wanted to prove to Beth that I can sell that jacket. So I took 15 bucks. Uh, the next thing that sold was an orphan train VHS tape. I have no idea what that video is about, um, but it did sell for 10 bucks. Uh, a Gorilla Grip Surfboard Deck Traction. That is, when you surf, usually you put wax on your surfboard. I think with this this device here, you, you it's like a foam, big foam thing shaped like the back of your your back foot of your surfboard and you take off the peel and stick it on your surfboard and you got like a grip on the back that sold for what did it sell for $14.99 Flintstones Scooby-Doo Haunted House VHS tape that sold for $9.28 I told Beth I sold that and I said I sold it for $9.28 and she's like how in the world did you come up with $28 well I was trying something new because Goog good Google um, eBay doesn't let you know when you when you listed it. Like I wish I had like an original list date, and if they do, please comment on the bottom if they do have it somewhere. Um, but so what I did is I put twenty eight because I listed that on February eighth that that VHS tape. Yeah, February eighth, and so I I wanted nine dollars. I was just going to put $9 or $9.99, but I just did $9.28 for February 8th. But if there's a way you can look to see when you originally listed something, um, comment below. Uh, because I know after, what was it, 30 days? After so long, it relist, I do auto relist, so I lose track of when I originally listed it. So, like, some of these DV, uh, VHS tapes that I sell, I... um. I don't, because I have a lot of VHS tapes. Some of them were listed, a lot of them were listed before I did the box system. So they don't have the, the they're not in a box yet. So there's like some over here, there's some over here stacked up. Um, so I go by the, the background that I used, the color background. And I try to see, instead of looking for one tape somewhere here, I look to see what, other VHS tapes have that same background because I know that I listed it at the same time as that VHS tape. So now I'm looking for like two or three names instead of one real quick. All right. Another VHS tape sold. Monty Python Live at the Hollywood Bowl. That sold, sold for $7. This next one was an auction that I did. Um, people really robbed me on my auctions. I really... I really don't do well in auctions. But it's a vintage Troop football themed sweater. Troop is like an, I think, an 80s, 90s brand. I know when I was in high school, um, the Troop leather jackets were popular. Like, um, like the rap, the rap scene, um, like Raw Bass and all that. You know, they wore like the Troop leather jackets. This was the tr that brand uh, sweater. It was NFL football pretty cool looking sweater but i started that auction off at 9.99 and it sold for 9.99 one bid the next two were interesting okay so i sold a hey arnold love stinks vhs tape um i got it at the bins for 25 cents and i i looked it up and the comps are high i think it was 50 bucks the last sold was like 50 bucks so when I looked it up, there was none available. There was quite a few solds and none available on eBay. So I, what I did is I took my tape and I listed it for 60 and it sold within probably an hour, hour and a half. But during that time, somebody had messaged me on, on eBay and said, Hey, are you willing to take 45? I think it was 45 hours. I'm like, no, I said, I got to stay at 60 because I just listed it and there's none available. Um, it's the only one listed. So he's like, all right. I'm like, well, watch it. 
And if it doesn't sell, I'll send offers out to my watchers and just suck it up. Like sneak, you know, grab it, not suck it up. All right, so it's sold. And I'm like, all right. He's like, darn, that's sold quick. So I was about to list my other Hey Arnold. I said, listen, I'm listing another one, but I had to start it at 70. And he's like, well, what's the title? It was Hey Arnold, the Helga Stories VHS. And um, then uh, I, I'm nothing against this guy, but he's, you know, 70 bucks. He looked at, he goes, well, the last one sold for $45. Why are you starting at 70? And, you know, for some reason I couldn't respond. Every time I tried to respond to him, it said error. So I don't know if he like stopped, but he was kind of in a cool way being rude. Like he was, he wasn't, you know, he, we've been chatting with his VHS tapes, right? But he took offense that I was listening at 70. And long story short is when s buyers look up the last sold, they don't, they only see like the last 30 days. Um, and I had my screenshot ready to send to him, but when I look up last sold on stuff like this, okay, there's none available. This, this, the, the Helga stories, VHS, there's none available on eBay. There's none available on Amazon. Amazon sold out. So, and then the last one sold for $45. So that's why I listed it at 70 and I only listed it at 70 right off the bat because I wanted to list, I wanted to list that. And then I wanted to list, go and list a little bit, like, because I didn't want to, like, list it at, like, 55 or 60, because then if somebody buy it real quick, I'd be pissed. So I, I went up and listed it higher than what I would take for it, so I wouldn't have some breathing room. And, and, take, and he got offense, he took, a, I don't know if he took offense over it, but he was just saying, dude, you know, that's not how you do it. Just because you sold the last one for 60, you don't sell this one for 70. He goes, it's never going to sell. The last one sold for 45 and I had somebody else message me and said the same thing. The last one sold for 45 I'll give you 40 Luckily, my messenger was messed up that night because I didn't even get back to that guy. So, needless to say, 15 minutes. Oh, so after I listed my other VHS tapes, I said, you know what? I'm just going to drop it to 60 Same price as I sold the other one. And 15 minutes after I listed it at 60, bam, it sold for 60 bucks. So when you're listing things, I guess don't be offended if people message you saying you're crazy on the prices that you're asking. Because I, I had a whole message to this dude. I said, you're looking at the last sold. I said, I went back the last 47 of them that sold over the last three years. And the highest one was $125. And there's about... I don't know, six or seven that sold in the 45 to $50 range. So I took the 45 and 50 said, Hey, there's none listed. And so I started a 70. So I sold it for six. So like my prices are right there. I kind of like, if you, if you're surprised by some of the prices of these VHS tapes, like I kind of, I think I get the max value out of a lot of my VHS tapes. Um, I think now that I'm selling more VHS tapes, like people are, I have a lot of repeat buyers too. So I guess they just trust what I sell to them. All right. So, all right. So that, that was my VHS stories. Those two, Hey Arnold's cost 25 cents each and each sold for 60. And I just got those probably three days ago and they sold the same day that I listed them. So be on the look for look out for Hey Arnold VHS tapes. Um, sold a vintage, you saw it, vintage Norelco Ladybug Salon Shaver Kit, 20 bucks. Sold a vintage brass grasshopper cricket paperweight, 10.25. Sold a vintage 70s naughty Mickey Mini Watch, 4.99 on a bid, one bid. When I was researching that though, a guy you can't find them. I guess they were bootlegged in the 70s. Um, he said he remember just not on eBay or anything. It was just like a random. I just Google, oh, Googled that watch. And it came up. He, he remembers, I think, he, of a few of them selling for 100. So that guy got a few. I did. It didn't work. And the dial was missing. So I 
I did describe that in that, so that's probably why it only sold for $4.99. Um, the Ma uh, 2008 Magic Quest Great Wolf Lodge Wand, $17.60. And Baby Doolittle World... Oh, no, $17, I'm sorry. Baby Doolittle World Animals VHS Tape, $19.99. I didn't even know what that VHS tape was. So grab it all right guys i did i realized i just don't have my hat on tonight so that's one of the rare videos where i'm not wearing my hat in the video but if you're enjoying what you're what i'm doing showing you what i got what i sold you know if you're learning you know that's awesome all right if you're liking it subscribe Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and, um, you know, until the next video, guys, have a flipping good day.